the 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hello everyone, hope today's been off to a good start for you so far. As the afternoon goes along, we've got some extra heat that we're going to add, but once we start to cool down, it's pretty consistent. We'll end up in the 30s for a lot of our lows. Blacksburg's at 47 right now, Covington at 52 and Danville at 53, so we've added some warmth. A lot of air is coming in from our north, which is generally colder right now, but the sunshine is helping us out for today. Our next front is forming down towards the south. There's a lot of heat in southern Mississippi, Louisiana, southeast Texas, mixing in with a lot of cooler air coming in from the north. Memphis at 45, Dallas at 52, just north of temperatures in the 60s, 70s, and even 80s. That's going to develop into another system that brings storms across the south, but for us, it's mostly going to come as rain. For us, that rain gets here on Friday, and after that, we're looking at some pretty cool temperatures for next week. A lot of that rain is going to be spread throughout the area in the morning, and then a little bit further north concentrated in the afternoon, with some spots even looking at more of a mix because of the colder temperatures we have in the coming days. Now today we stay pretty sunny with some clouds. Thursday we'll have a little bit more cloud cover, but our temperatures are about the same as they are today. I want to take you through Thursday night going into Friday morning on the future tracker. As we get towards midnight, clouds really spread out. It takes until 1 a.m. for us to start getting showers, and those continue pressing further towards the southeast. Colder temperatures in the northern part of the highlands and that very northern edge of the Lynchburg zone do mean that we're probably looking at some wintry mix, some maybe freezing rain there, but I think sleep would be more of a possible option. I don't think we're going to see a lot of snow stacking up Friday morning that far north, but could get a few flakes, especially early before sunrise. Meanwhile, the rest of us are looking at rainfall as we go through the morning. By 7 a.m., it's pretty widespread, and we're starting to warm up towards the north, so that snow, if any, is falling becomes a lot more rare at that point. By 10 a.m., scattered showers, less consistent rain than it was a few hours earlier. By 1 p.m., a lot of us are getting a break from the rainfall, and really to the south, there's not a lot coming through in the afternoon. By 5 p.m., a little bit more up into the highlands, and that even probably turns back into some snow going through Friday night, but a lot of that is taking care of by Saturday morning and with temperatures well above 32 in the coming days. It won't last very long if it does stick around to snow. Most rain totals between a tenth of an inch and two or three tenths. Blacksburg getting a little bit more and that western slope in the highlands also could get some more. Friday, most of us have that cold rain early on and then looking a little bit more wintry further towards the north. That front moves off towards the east. High pressure keeps us pretty clear but windy on Saturday. Today, our temperatures end up getting into the 50s and 60s, so not as warm as yesterday, but still pretty comfortable. Blacksburg 54, Alta Vista at 61, and tonight we'll fall back down into the 30s. Probably going to get hard freeze in some places like Blacksburg at 28 compared to Alta Vista at 31. Not great for plants. If anything's blooming, try to cover it up or bring it inside if you can. Friday on the extended forecast is when temperatures really take a dip. We'll be in the mid 40s there. Thankfully, we start off generally warm enough, so that kind of helps us out. And then we've got some sunshine over the weekend with showers on Sunday. Dry and cool to start off the next work week.